everyone! As I'm sure you can tell by the title of this video, today is going to be an art supplies haul. I finally picked up a few interesting items to share with you. I know I'm sure if you've been a part of my channel for a while now, you know I mention a lot that I'm not normally picking up mass amounts of art supplies and anything I do pick up is normally something really boring and not a very interesting haul. But today I have a bunch of interesting stuff to show you. The last couple of weeks I picked up a few different things that I've wanted to try out and some things that I've had in my wish list for a while. So let's get straight on into the haul. The first thing I guess we'll start with is something I've had for the longest now, and that is this Posca marker set. I'm sure by now you've probably heard about the Posca markers, they've kind of been blowing up online, and I've wanted to try them out for a really long time, kind of before they kind of blew up. I'd heard about them, a bunch of people had recommended me trying them out because I'm always searching for a really pigmented and opaque white paint marker or gel pen, um, so kind of with the internet buzz it kind of reminded me to look into them and so I picked up this 15 set on Amazon. I believe this is what they call the fine tip. There's a bunch of different tip sizes, there's like extra fine, fine, medium, there's like really broad tips, but I'm pretty sure these are the fine tips. And so yeah, it is 15 paint marker colors. I haven't played with these like at all when I got them. I kind of took a few and like doodled on some paper, but nothing too crazy. So as you can see, I'll probably do close-ups of these because the lighting situation today is interesting. But yeah, it's a nice um, rounded nib, nothing too too fine, but not humongous either. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try those out. I have also seen people, like, using a brush with them as well. So, yeah, super interested to try these out and, I guess, share with you my thoughts at some point, maybe in a behind-the-studio vlog or something. Speaking of the white gel pen situation, the last time I went to Curry's, I had to pick up a couple of my absolute favorite white gel pens, which are still the Uniball Signo white gel pens in broad. I don't know if these come in different thicknesses or whatever, but... Yeah, that's what they're called. I'm constantly making sure that I have a nice stock of these, although looking in my back stock now, probably did not need to buy more, but Curry's is kind of the easiest and cheapest place that I have found to buy these, so anytime I go in there, I generally pick up one or two if they have them in stock. So yeah, not too exciting. These might actually be in every art supplies all I have done. Uh, but yeah, I use them all the time and they're great. Another pen type thing that I picked up were these Tombow Calligraphy pens. Um, these are both brush nibs. Uh, one is supposed to kind of be a harder nib than the other. Uh, just wanted to try these out. I really like brush pens and I use my Pentel brush pen a lot and when I was just kind of looking at brush pens to try out, these ones came up and I really like Tombow products so I figured I would give these a try. You know, Inktober's coming up and I'm not planning on really doing any Inktober, definitely not like the 30 day thing. I did that a few years ago and it was fun, it's just, you know, I have a bunch of stuff I need to do and it's, you know, just not really for me. I don't normally gravitate towards ink too much, but I might do a couple Inktober-ish just purely ink drawings here or there and try these out. Now this I am really excited about. This, I'm not even sure what you would call it, but it is this watercolor paint set. I first saw this a few months ago in like an Instagram ad, which I know was like a really shoddy kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but I don't even think the ad was for this. I think it was for a like an art subscription box that had this featured or something, but it looked really cool. And when I was just like browsing on Amazon, I don't even know what I was looking at. This was one of the things that came up and I had looked for like months <laughs> trying to find this, but like it's so weird. Here, I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you. It's like such a unique product. I don't even know what the listing for this was on Amazon. So I probably should look that up and like put it here or something in case you wanna try this. But it, I bought the biggest set. It is 42 colors and they're in these like 
pans that flip out kind of like paint chips do. It's really cool. The watercolors might be terrible, but I did buy this purely kind of to do a video on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I thought it was really awesome. I know I talk a lot about the Daisy palettes, which are the five colors that like stack that a lot of people are super interested in and yeah they're like cool because they like stack not the greatest um, quality of watercolor these ones feel like a lot nicer they definitely have the gum like binding agent that most watercolors have um, like all the professional ones all of that that's kind of what generally is holding the pigment together in watercolor paints so just off the bat these like feel and look a lot better than the uh, daisy palettes but yeah, this 42, whoa, this 42 color um, thing was 25 Canadian dollars on Amazon. It came with a brush pen. Haven't I haven't tried this out, obviously. Like, this is all brand new stuff that I've saved up for this haul. Uh, but yeah, it comes with a water brush pen and it has this like pad thing that you could, I guess, wipe the brush off on the top. Like, this is meant to be a travel set. It is, as you can see, pretty compact. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool. Like, they fling out, and then the last slot um, piece is actually, like, a little pan that you could mix colors on, which is really cool. So yes, I am definitely going to do a video reviewing this um, and letting you know if it's any good, because I'm sure there would be a lot of you guys interested in this to if you were starting to get into watercolor and stuff like that. So hopefully this is good, because I think this would be a really great option for some of you just starting out in watercolor. This next thing is kind of not really an art supplies, but I'll probably be using it to create uh, more paper artwork, and it is this slice cutter. Now, this is like generally kind of like marketed because it's a ceramic blade which is supposed to last a whole lot longer than steel blades which are generally what like craft knives and stuff are made out of. Um, and it also has like one of those like non-cut blades so you're not going to like cut yourself on it which I guess I should probably be concerned about considering how often I cut myself. Uh, but I mainly picked this up because the blade is ridiculously small. Like, I'm not sure if my camera will even be able to focus on how small the blade is. So that's kind of why I picked this up to um, try out, like, cutting out some of my super intricate paper art. I thought that might be good. Uh, but yeah, kind of weird, boring, and not really super art supplies related. But I picked it up in the last couple of days, so I thought I would share that as well. This next thing is this watercolor journal. It is a handbook, paper co, travelog watercolor book. I've heard a lot of great things about these. They come in a bunch of different sizes, and I thought I would pick one up. I'm kind of looking into, not necessarily getting more into sketching, but looking at doing more paintings and drawings that are more finished, that aren't necessarily like videos, like just don't take a ton of time. Um, you might see some drawings that I do in this in like the behind the studio videos, but not necessarily something I'm going to do like a main singular topic art video on. Uh, but I'm almost finished my Moleskine book, which I haven't really been using for the same way that I plan on using this for. Uh, but yeah, I've heard a bunch of great things about this, and I thought I would pick this up. It, I, it is a square, which I thought was pretty cool. It does come in different sizes, but I thought a square journal might be something cool and different. And yeah, I'm looking forward to testing that out and seeing how that goes. If I like the paper quality, it is watercolor paper, and I plan on using watercolor and gouache and stuff in this. So... Hopefully the watercolor paper is nice, and if I like it, I might be picking up some more of these to use. So the next thing is just this palette. I pretty much bought this to go specifically with the next things I'm going to show you. Um, but this is just kind of a less watercolor specific palette. Um, 
something uh, uh, more acrylic paint based like obviously you don't want to use watery paint on like a traditional you know like emoji <laughs> uh, artist palette like oh grab that grab your beret and go out into the field and paint like that kind of palette um, <laughs> so this one is a peelable tray palette sounded good it was nice and large had nice large areas to put paint on and mix it so I thought I would give that a try mainly to go with my acrylic gouache. Now a few months ago probably now I bought this 36 um, acrylic gouache set. I know I've shown this in behind the studio videos um, but I bought this set and then did not have any time to play with it or test it out, look at the colors, anything like that. And so finally this week I got to swatch the colors I already owned and then look at the colors within the range and choose some other ones that I wanted to add to the set. So the nice thing is that Curry's now sells the separate acrylic gouache paints. I bought the set because it was cheaper and a good starting off point because it's a paint type that I've always been really interested in and now that it's more accessible it kind of made sense to finally take the plunge because now I can just go locally and buy it instead of constantly having to like find a place that would ship to Canada and you know all of that kind of stuff. So I have this box of separate singular colors. Uh, I'll probably do like a close-up of these, but I'll just tell you what colors I have. So I bought Pale Aqua, Ice Green, Pale Mint, Coral Red, Flesh, Beige, Olive, Pale Lavender, Smalt Blue, Ash Rose, Lilac, sepia, deep magenta, and I'm pretty sure this last one, if it would turn, yep, deep violet. So they are the ones that I decided to add to my already existing 36 colors. Um, yeah, just some interesting cool colors like this uh, ice green looks super nice, super cool. The nice thing, of course, about gouache it is it is opaque, so it will show up that color. So yeah, I just wanted to pick up some bright colors that I like to use in paintings that would look cool as gouache. And that's actually everything. If there is a specific art supply you'd kind of like to see me talk a bit more in a video or something, I obviously mentioned that the watercolor set I am absolutely doing a specific video on, like reviewing it, testing it out, all of that stuff. Uh, but if one of the other things you'd be interested in a video on, let me know and I can definitely look into doing that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.